If you found swarm cells that either have royal jelly or are completely closed in the last two consecutive inspections, it's a dark hour and it's time you face reality. Your hive wants to swarm. Now it's not the end of the world, but you will have to do an advanced swarm control. And I'll show you how we do this technique. But first, to do this technique, your hive needs to be at a minimum of two bee boxes and you will have to find the queen to do this properly. Let me show you. So you open the hive just as usual and you want to go straight into the brood box. In the brood box, you want to go through the frames and separate the ones that have open brood, so eggs and uncapped larvae. And you want to take those frames and put them in a new box. But you need to find your queen first and keep her in the first box with the cap brood. I have two frames of cap brood with the queen that I've found. On the side, I'm going to put empty frames, preferably they're already built up. And on top of this box, we add the queen excluder. Now we rebuilt our hive, we put the bee box with honey on top of that, and then our new box with the open brood. Now we've reorganized our hive, and we have the bottom box that contains the queen and the cat brood. On top of that, we have our queen excluder, and then our bee box of honey that acts as a barrier between the queen and most of the brood that is now at the top. That will completely break the urge of the colony to swarm. And the good thing, we don't need to reorganize the frames afterwards, because the brood's gonna hatch at the top, and the bees are gonna put honey in those cells, and the top, at the bottom, the queen will continue to lay. Now, if you do find swarm cells after doing this technique, it means your colony really wanted to swarm. You're gonna have to repeat this technique in exactly the same steps. And if you do it a second and a final time, it means that you'll really have stopped the colony's urge to swarm. 